Why not? The Chicago Bulls are on some Chicago Bull shit because I have no idea what the fuck they got going on. And I don't know what their plan is. But something's got to change. And I know there's a lot of Bulls fans out there that are hoping that you guys wind up with Cooper Flag, you know, in a year's time, you know, or I guess a little bit less. You know, we're in September now. Yeesh. Um, but yeah, the Bulls got to figure this out. Bulls really got to figure this out. I've, I've preached this for so long that mediocrity in the NBA gets you nowhere. It gets you absolutely nowhere. The only exception that I can think of to this rule is if you are mediocre while you're in the midst of the, the excuse me, while you're in the midst of the rebuilding process. So if you have been drafting high in the draft, um, for the last, you know, two, three, four seasons. And in that third and fourth season, you're, you know, on the outskirts of the playoffs, you're, on, you're you know, maybe, maybe, you're, maybe you're not in the plan, maybe you're the sixth seed, whatever, right? That's okay, because as a young team, you need to go through experiences where you lose and you fail. That's how you get better. Right, but you need to have the talent in place. And if you don't have the talent in place, you're not going to improve on your mediocrity. You're just you're you're probably never going to be in contention. So, with that said, I think this team, frankly, should do a full-on rebuild. And I think there are certain players that you can keep around that have a good head on their shoulders and would be good for young players coming in. But they have a decent core of young players already you know, that they don't necessarily need to get rid of, um, but they need to surround them with more good young players. So like Kobe White, great. I really do think he should have won most improved. You know, I, I don't think Tyrese Maxey didn't deserve the award, but I think Kobe White deserved it more. That's my personal take. You know, they just traded for Josh Giddy, traded Caruso for Josh Giddy, which I don't think is a bad move. Um, I think Josh Giddy was probably made a lot more available because he kind of fell out of the rotation in OKC. He also had, you know, some legal issues, I guess you could say. Yeah, legal. Um, and just wasn't, just wasn't a good year for him. So, but he's talented. You know, I think not this past season, but the season before, you know, Josh Giddy was like, you know, recording triple doubles like it was nothing you know like he's a really versatile player he's not the most athletic player in the world but he's very skilled and you know he just needs to kind of get a little bit better at shooting um you know his fluidity could use some work but you know he's a he's only 21 so he can improve he's got room to improve for sure and I think being on the bulls now will give him that lane to really you know let loose and you know try new things on the court and figure out what's going on, figure out how he can, you know, best help the team win. But Ayu Desunmu, also a really good player. You know, Patrick Williams is signed to a, you know, a big deal there. He's the longest one under contract. He's under guaranteed dollars until the end of 2028 with a player option for the season after in 2028-2029. You know, Lonzo Ball uh, this is his last year uh, on his deal. He had a player option, which he exercised, which makes sense. I mean, the guy's coming off of pretty bad injuries. He's missed the past two seasons. So, but I personally think, I mean, a lot of people are kind of like sold out on Lonzo Ball already, and I'm I'm not in that boat at all. I think Lonzo Ball, when he's healthy, he is one of the best passers in the league. And he draws a lot of attention too. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how he's, going to play coming off of these injuries you know I'm really hoping that he's back to the player that he used to be because if he's not it might be a little bit more difficult for him I mean if he's been working on his jumper while he can't really do a lot of athletic super athletic work you know hopefully he's got a more you know in rhythm three-point shot you know can hit the mid-range things like that I think that'll you know improve his value but I've heard a lot of things too about the Bulls trying to trade him and I'm kind of like you know, I, I get it. It might have been hard to trade him when, 
he was going through the, all these injury troubles. I mean, we had a similar situation happen on the Wizards with John Wall, but we were able to trade John Wall right before the season started uh, when we traded him for Russell Westbrook, which still, you know, makes my heart pound because I love John Wall and I wish we would sign him today because I, I don't even care. He could play one minute a game, just get the man back on the Wizards. But that's a story for another time. Um, but Lonzo Ball, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll trade him before the season starts. I don't know. But I think it's worth giving him a chance and at least, you know, leaving out some hope that he can come back and play well enough that if you are going to trade him, he's going to boost his trade value because he's going to be, you know, putting his product on the floor again and people are going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, I forgot about this guy, you know, so – Hopefully, hopefully they can either utilize him to continue, you know, along with their team or, you know, they trade him away and, you know, hopefully get like, you know, some draft picks or some other young players because they really got to make a move here. You know, like there's that old saying like or get off the pot like this is like this is kind of that like you, you don't want to be mediocre for a long time. And they just got modest Buzelis. I actually really do think he's going to be really good. Um, a lot of people have been hating on him, saying, oh, he's not going to be good, yada, yada, whatever. But, like, first of all, Modest Buzelis is from Chicago. So when you draft a kid who's 19 to his hometown team that he, root, like, that he roots for, like, I, I can't imagine him not succeeding to some extent, right? Like, there would have to be something crazy – happen you know injury wise or whatever which hopefully that does not happen in order for him to be derailed from actually having a big impact on this team and that's why i frankly think if they could figure out how to trade zach levine i think they should trade vucevic because he's clearly not the answer that they need you know let let modest buzelis you know and josh giddy and kobe white and pat williams let them just like roam free and figure it out because i think Modest Buzelis has that, like, attitude that they need. Like, and, and just because it's his hometown team, too, like, he's really going to, like, pedal to the metal, I feel like. And I think that's exactly what the team needs. So, and you just, you just drafted him. So, he's there for, you know, at least two years, but likely they're going to pick up the team options. So, he's probably there for the next four years. You know, let, let your young guys run. Because what's the point of drafting them if you're not going to let them play, right? Like, this isn't a team where it's like, oh, we have stars. Like, we're going to let them sit back and develop. Like, not nah, that shit. Like, like, this is – you got to play your young guys to see if they can get you to where you want to be. Because if they can't, you got to rebuild again. And you got to figure something else out because this is not – that's not going to work. So, you know, who knows? It, it, it could be a situation where we see – Cooper Flag or Ace Bailey on this team next year, that would be wild. But I think the the thing that the Bulls need to do, I think their best interest is going to be trading away Zach Levine, Nikola Vucevic, you know, potentially Lonzo Ball. I don't think you should trade away Lonzo Ball, but if you can get a good deal for him, then why not? And just start building and let your team just run, you know, and do what do what you have to do because. Chicago can be good, and Chicago has good fans. So, and it's a historic franchise. People want the Bulls to be good. And like I said, with Miles Buzelis, him being a hometown kid and growing up on like the Derrick Rose Chicago Bulls, you know, he probably wants to get him back to that point. So, give the young dudes the keys and let them drive. Because right now, this Bulls team is not a Ferrari. This is like, this is like Honda Civic territory. And Honda Civics ain't bad, but that's not gonna win you the title. So, you know, Bulls fans, I'm here for you. I want this team to be good again. I love when the historic franchises are good. Just makes the league 10 times more exciting. You know, when you see a marquee matchup between the Bulls and the Lakers or the Bulls and the Celtics and both teams are at their best there's nothing like it so Bulls figure it the f out I'll see y'all next year